Hello everyone, I'm Apoorbu the Book Hunter, back again with another video and a very interesting book that you probably haven't heard of. Graham Swift's Waterloo. You may have heard of Graham Swift because he won the Booker Prize once. But this is a book that is not easily available now and it's very interesting. I would consider it a hidden gem. So let me just give you an overview of the plot and you'll know why. So this book is about a history teacher in Greenwich who is about to be fired for a couple of reasons. First, the principal doesn't like his way of teaching and him in person. Well, that mostly settles it. But the second reason is more serious one where, you know, his wife, who's not mentally stable, has just kidnapped a baby and it's all over the news. So amidst this confusion, he's asked, he's asked to leave quietly with full pension and everything, but uh, he doesn't rebel or anything, but to the class, to his class, he narrates a story and this story is basically the story of his life intertwined with the history of the place that he's from and you would not guess that place that is called the fence so it's a marshy area in the east coast of England and he narrates the story to a class who are at who are at this point questioning the relevance of history um, in a time of Cold War because that's where the uh, present timeline of the story is set and the Cuban Missile Crisis and everything just went over they just uh, you know I think it's in the present in the very near past at that time and they're really questioning the relevance of history so he while defending history he also stresses on how history not just repeats itself but just how history goes in a cycle and all that very interesting to read I, I just assure you you will not be bored you will be actually very thrilled to read it but at the same time he in a very unconventional manner which actually kind of defies the rules and regulations of a teaching institution he tells in this story so this story so his story his life story is basically they revolve around this place called fence so fence is basically consists of it's a marshy land in a river delta in the coastal part of eastern coast of england and they have a lot of reclaimed land much like Le netherlands and consists of a lot of dikes and dams embankments and man-made rivers and they use pumps and sluice gates to control the water protect it from flooding and all it's a very fertile region where a lot of grains are produced so uh, it has does have a lot of benefit to the people of england um, this is actually so he his father was kind of a lock keeper at a sluice gate and uh, he and his older brother lived with them there are a lot of characters around them who lived around the area including his female friend so their story is the core of this novel but at the same time running parallelly or a little bit back and forth because this is not a linear sort of narrative is the history of fence so how it came to be what was there first and how one family a fictitious one i think uh, atkinson family a family of brewer how they developed the whole area and how multiple generation of them eventually led to the history teacher <laughs> I, I know you wouldn't have probably guessed it but yes that's what happens so their story and his story this is basically the plot of the book and it's kind of a tragic story yeah there i said it i kind of spoiled it for you but yes it's a tragic story so uh, about this book great writing style it's kind of not the kind of writer style that i have read but it's really great and it has a lot it's it's solid it has a lot of credibility to it and for example i'll tell you so for a whole chapter in this book consists of paragraphs that start with once upon a time there was a history teacher just that and it does not get boring it does not get repetitive it feels wonderful it feels engaging it feels really impressive so his writing style i totally approve of so okay that's one part his treatment of the character his character development treatment of the characters are great these characters are credible and not for a moment do they seem like fiction they they're really they just seem so real their treatment is emotional and very honest yes that's probably the word i'm looking for but uh one thing i shouldn't probably miss is the landscape so 
much part of the novel is dominated by this ever-changing landscape where rivers change courses, put up silt, block waterways, there are a lot of flooding, northern wind blasts them and well it's grey, it's bleak, it's muddy, uh, it's kind of flat and it always gives the reader and the narrator a feeling of everything coming to an end. There. Now you know what you're dealing with but I absolutely approve of this book. I highly recommend this book. Do read it if you get it but it's kind of difficult to get hold of. Um, but if you keep you know, searching in the Amazon and other sites you probably get it. So that's it for today. Uh, guys I'll be back with a lot of shorts and other videos so stay tuned to this channel for more.